hi students next conversion that is from all kinds to conversion of from all kinds to acid and acid derivatives next conversion from all kinds to acid and acid derivatives student. now take the example for all kinds student. that is example that is ethane take the ethane student ch triple bond ch when ethane react with hydrogen h2 by nickel nickel act as a catalytic hydro nickel act as a catalyst student. that is catalyst in this step is catalytic hydrogenation that means addition of hydrogen one hydrogen will attack this carbon and one more hydrogen will attack this carbon we get product is ch2 double bond ch2 this is a compound student that is ethylene will be formed student. ethylene will be formed when ethylene react with when ethylene react with hydrochloric acid student, hcl in the presence of ccl4 hydrochloric acid student, when ethylene react with hcl in the presence of ccl4 we get what happens student, that is ch3 ch2 cl ethyl chloride will be formed student, that is ethyl chloride will be formed that is b compound student, ethyl chloride will be formed that is b compound student this ethyl chloride that is also electro it is also belongs to electrophilic addition reaction student. this is also electrophilic addition reaction that is hydrogenation in this step is in this step is hydrogenation in this step is hydrohalogenation hydrohalogenation that means addition of one hydrogen and one halogen we get that is ethyl chloride will be formed student. this ethyl chloride react with ethyl chloride react with aqueous KOH student aqueous KOH what happens to that is aqueous KOH student that is nucleophilic substitution reaction is involved here K plus Cl minus CH2 plus Cl minus here K plus and OH minus here Cl minus is replaced by OH minus we get that is product is CH3 CH2 OH ethyl alcohol will be formed this is C compound student this ethyl alcohol <laughs> this ethyl alcohol react with what happens student that is copper at 300 degrees centigrade or PCC or PDC student we get that is aldehyde will be formed CH3 CH4 will be formed aldehyde is will form so that is what is the role of copper student that is dehydrogenating that is removal of hydrogen dehydrogenating that is D compound will be formed student this copper act as a oxidizer copper act as oxidizer copper and PCC and PDC these are the moderate oxidizer it can oxidize that is alcohol this primary alcohols oxidation to give aldehyde will be functional this aldehyde again oxidation with KMnO4 or K2Cr2O7 student potassium permanganate or potassium dichromate these two reagents are strong oxidizers and these two reagents are strong oxidizer it can oxidize that is aldehyde group student. this aldehyde group is converted into acid we get that a product is ch3 coh will be formed this aldehyde this means ch3 as it is same student this cho group oxidized by kmno4 or k2cr2o7 in the presence of acidic medium we get is that is acid will be formed acidic medium or neutral medium any medium student this aldehyde group is converted to acid in the presence of KMnO4 or K2Cr2O7 this KMnO4 or K2Cr2O7 both are strong oxidizer so we get that is acid will be formed this acid this is the E compound student. this is E compound student. this acid react with what happens to this acid react with react with this acid means acidic acid react with ammonia what happens to that is simple traction the acid react with ammonia simple here OH group taking from here hydrogen take OH minus taking from here H plus taking from here we get that is product is CH3 COnH2 acid amide plus water is elimination student in this step is acid amide will be formed when acidic acid react with ammonia we get that is acid amide that is acetamide will be formed this is called acid derivative student when carboxy is simple to know what I said student that is alkanes is converted to acid and acid derivative first step is alkanes is converted to acid that is acidic acid will be formed what about acid derivative student that is when acid react with ammonia we get that is acid amide here OH taking from carboxylic acid H plus taking from NH3 we get that is acetamide plus water if in case same thing student when carboxylic acid same thing student this carboxylic acid again react with what happens that is PCl3 
or PCl5 or SOCl2, we can take any reagent, you remember Shen? PCl3 or PCl5 or SOCl2, sulfonyl chloride, we get that is acid chloride will be formed, that product is CH3COCl, CH3COCl will be formed, this is the simple trick student, this is the simple trick for acid and acid derivatives from alkanes. So, this conversion of from alkanes is converted into acids and acid derivatives. This is a simple trick student. In this first alkanes, in this step is first step is hydrogenation that means addition of hydrogen. Then second step is hydrochloric acid that is HCl that is hydrohalogenation that is also electrophilic addition. Then after that is belongs to this nucleophilic substitution reaction student nucleophilic substitution reaction student. Then after that is that is elimination that is dehydrogen, this step is dehydrogenation step student. That means oxidation that oxidized by copper at 300 degree centigrade. And next step is this aldehyde will be formed. So, this aldehyde again oxidation with KMnO4 or K2CR2O7, we get carboxylic acid. This carboxylic acid again react with ammonia, we get that is acid amide is formed, that is acetamide, amide, acetamide will be formed. Then again this carboxylic acid that means acidic acid react with PCl3 or PCl5 or sulfonyl chloride we get that is acid chloride will be from these are the acid derivatives student. this is the simple trick for conversion of from alkanes to alkanes to acid and acid derivatives student. and one more last conversion student that is very most important conversion student from alkanes to sorry from From all kinds to aromatic compounds, Arom all kinds to aromatic compounds that is hydro aromatic hydrocarbons that is benzene. So, example now take the example student that is first one that is same thing propyne one prop when propyne when propyne react with what happens that is a red hot iron tube or copper tube, red of iron tube or copper tube that is. 3 moles of take the acetylene, we get that is benzene will be formed student that is C6 H6 benzene will be formed, C6 H6 uh, benzene will be formed that is polymerization of acetylene, you remember student polymerization of acetylene we get uh, benzene will be formed student. this is a simple trick the conversion of from all kinds to benzene student. this benzene I am writing structure student CH triple bond CH in the presence of red hot iron tube or copper tube take the 3 moles we get that is benzene student, this benzene structure will be formed student. this benzene again react with CH3Cl in the presence of AlCl3. So, what happens to that is methyl benzene will be formed that is C methyl benzene will be formed student. this methyl benzene again react with what happens to that is NBS, N bromosuccinamide what happens to that is NBS, we get that is product will be CH2 Br will be from this is the very very important conversion. So, this is allylic substitution strength. So, this is NBO, NBS that is N bromosuccinamide will be formed that is benzyl bromide will be formed that is benzyl bromide will be formed. So, this is a simple trick sir simple tree simple conversion strength. In first step is when acetylene react with red hot iron copper the iron tube red hot copper tube or iron tube we get that is benzene when benzene react with methyl chloride in the presence of AlCl3 we get that is methyl benzene when methyl benzene NBS N bromosuccinamide we get that is bromine substitution here that is also a, this mechanism is free radical substitution reaction student this is A compound student the conversion of A to B the conversion of A to B that is electrophilic substitution mechanism it is very very most important student electrophilic substitution reaction mechanism the conversion of from A to B that is electrophilic conversion, electrophilic substitution mechanism student. The conversion from B to C that is free radical, free radical substitution mechanism that is NBS, N bromosuccinamide, it is the allylic substitution and benzylic substitution student. This benzylic and allylic substitution student, what is the role of NBS student? N bromosuccinamide, N bromosuccinamide is the allylic substitution or benzylic substitution student this belongs to free radical mechanism this is a simple trick student this uh, ch2 br will be formed student. this ch2 br again react with what happens to that is aqueous koh aqueous koh what happens to that is 
this Br minus CH2 plus student that is carboxyl CH2 plus positive charge and Br minus negative charge student. Here nucleophilic substitution reaction will be formed student we get product is that is benzyl alcohols will be formed that is CH2OH benzyl alcohol will be formed student benzyl alcohol will be formed this is this is this is D product student this benzyl alcohol this benzyl alcohol it is very most important reaction student this benzyl alcohols reaction with MnO2 manganese dioxide MnO2 it is a moderate oxidizer MnO2 act as a moderate oxidizer it can oxidize it this it can oxidize only benzylic alcohol and allylic alcohol we get that is product is benzaldehyde will be formed benzaldehyde will be formed this is E compound student this MnO2 is a moderate oxidizer it can oxidize it only benzylic alcohol and allylic alcohols cannot other alcohol student you remember it is very very most important oxidizer student MnO2 can oxidize it only benzylic alcohol and allylic alcohols so we get that is benzaldehyde will be formed so this benzaldehyde again oxidation with KmnO4 what happens that is KmnO4 that is oxidation KmnO4 act as strong oxidizer it converts it it ox it can oxidize this aldehyde group this aldehyde group is converted into acid that is benzoic acid will be formed this benzoic acid will be formed so this is the simple conversion student so conversion of from alkane benzoic acid will be formed so this benzoic acid again react with one more conversion student that is soda lime NaOH plus CaO what happens should in this step student that is benzene will be formed that is ben in this step is benzene will be formed plus Na2CO3 will be formed benzene and Na2CO3 that is called soda lime that NaOH plus CaO that is what happens that is Na2CO3 plus here a bond cleavage here student this bond cleavage that is Na2CO3 and this hydrogen will attack this position so this is the bond cleavage student that is removal of carbon dioxide that is called in this step is the decarboxylation reaction student that is final product is benzene will be formed this is the simple conversion student simple conversion of from alkanes is converted into aromatic hydrocarbons this is a simple trick student if you like my video please like share and comment and thanks for watching thanks for watching student if you like my video please don't forget please click on like thank you